Hello students, welcome to our week 2 lesson. So in this video, I will be discussing the illustrative example of lesson 2, worksheet 2, which is about word problem involving normal distribution. Let me start first by introducing the table of standard normal probabilities or the Z table, which is look like this. So this table will give you the value of the probability or the area to the left of the given value of Z or the standard score. So, the area here, the first column and the first row will represent the value of Z or the standard score. And the values here that you can see are the computed probability or area to the left of the given or the specific value of Z. So, for example, we have the value of Z which is negative 2.45. So if you want to locate that in our tab Z table, what we need to do first is to check the whole number in the first decimal place. So here we have negative 2.4. So what you need to do is in this area, you need to look for 2.4. And we have here 2.4. And after that, we need to consider the second decimal place or the hundreds. So we have here... Uh, 0 0.05 so we just need to locate 0 0.05 here or 5 here so we have that so to get the probability or the area to the left of this value of Z we just need to draw vertical and horizontal line passes that negative 2.4 and 0 0.05 and that in the intersection will be the probability or the area to the left of that value of Z. Therefore, the probability of Z which is greater or less than sorry, less than negative 2.45 is equal to 0 0.0071. So, during our synchronous session, we will have more activities regarding this one. And before we proceed with the main problem, let us, uh, I want you to be familiarized first with the following notation. So there are three cases that we need to consider when we are dealing problems involving normal distribution. First is uh, the value of Z which is greater than or less than the, value, the given value of A or this is the standard score. Or Z which is greater than, so if we are dealing with greater than or to the right, of the value of Z, then we need to consider this formula. We have 1 minus the probability that we will get from the table or the probability to the left of or the area to the left of Z. In case that we are dealing with in between, which is uh, we have here the interval between two numbers, then we need to consider this. So, if you are Z, if you are looking for the probability or the area between two values like this, Z is greater than A but less than B, then we need to consider this formula, which is the probability of uh, to the left of the given value, we have B, to the left of B, and minus the probability of Z to the left of A. So if you observe, like interchange sila. So, if we have your A and B. So, kukunin muna natin yung A. And then, we get the value also to the left of A. Then, we subtract the 2. Okay? So, let's proceed now with the problem. So, uh, the problem goes like this. The scores of the students in the final examinations are normally distributed with a mean of 72 and a standard deviation of 8. So, letter A, find the percentage of students who scored less than 60. Letter B, find the percentage of the students who scored more than 70. Then, find the percentage of students who scored between 82 and 96. So, this is just like finding the area or the probability. Let's start first with the first question, which is on... Uh, finding the per percentage of students who scored less than 60. So, if you observe here, we have to follow three steps. 
First is we need to standardize the given score. So based on the problem, we have the following given. The mean is 72. The standard deviation is equal to 8. So using the formula, the standardization formula, we have Z equals the given uh, value of X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So substitute, that would give us if X is 60 because here we are looking for uh, the score given is 60. Substitute, we have 60 minus 72 over 8 is equal to negative 1.5. So we... Then step two, we determine what is x. So from the situation, we are asked to find the probability or the percentage of students who scored less than 60. And if we standardize this, this is equivalent to the probability of z less than negative 1.50. Okay? We need to standardize this because the table is uh, can be used only for the standard score so here we have probability or the area to the left of z which is equal to negative 1.50 so the we following the steps that i discussed a while ago we need to look first for negative 1.5 in the first column we have here negative 1.5 and then we look for 0 in the first row. So you have here 0 or 0, 0.00. So the intersection of the vertical and horizontal line passing uh, through those values is this one. 0 0.0668. And if we convert that to percentage, just multiply to 100, that would give us 6. 68%. So therefore, there are 6.68% of the students who got a score less than 60. Let's proceed now to the second problem. Find the percentage of the students who scored more than 70 or greater than 70. So we will follow the same steps. Step 1. Standardize the given scores or score. So again, we still have the given mean, which is 72, and standard deviation of 8. Using the formula, we have the score of 70, so substitute that. And the other given, we have 70 minus 72 over 8, which is negative 0 0.25. Okay, then... Step two, de determine what is us. So from our, from the different notation or formula that I've shown a while ago, we are looking now for the probability of the students or the percentage of the students for greater than 70. So since it is to the right of the uh, standard score, so we need to consider this formula, which is 1 minus the probability of or the area to the left of the given value of z, which is negative 0 0.25. Okay? Again, we need to follow this kasi yung area na hinahanap natin is to the right. To the right, which is greater than the value or the given score or the uh, standard score. So, Step 3, use the Z table to find the area. We have here the Z table and the value. Okay? We have 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2 first. So here we have negative 0 0.2, then 0 0.005. So we have 0 0.005, and the intersection will be 0 0.4013. But you need to be careful. This is not the final answer yet kasi this area is the area to the left of the value of Z which is negative 0.25. Pero yung problem is asking for the area to the right. So we need to follow this formula. That would give us then 
this value. So we have 1 minus the area to the left. We have 1 minus 0 0.4013, which is, which is equal to 0 0.5987, or that is 59.87%. Therefore, there are 59.87% of the students who got a score more than 7. Let's proceed to the last problem. Find the percentage of students who scored between 82 and 96. We will follow the same steps, but, but since we have two scores now, we need to standardize these two scores first. We have the first score, which is 82, using the formula. The standard, the equivalent standard score is 1.25 for 82. Now let's have 96. For 96, we have, using the same formula, 3.00. Step 2, determine what, what is R. So, it, uh, we are talking about the area in between two values. So, we need to follow this formula, which is the area to the left of the higher score, which is 96, minus the area to the left of the lower score, which is 82. And the equivalent standard score are the following. Area to the left of Z, which is equal to 3.00, minus the area to the left of Z, which is equal to 1.25. So all we need to do is to find the area of this two situation using our Z table that would be for 3.0, we have this. Locate 3.0 in the first column. And 0 0.00, we have the area of 0 0.9987. Now, the second value is 1.25. So, locate 1.2 in the first column and since it is 1.25 look at 0 0.005 the intersection or the probability will now be 0 0.8944 then following the formula that we had and that we identified from step 2 we have the following 0 0.9987 minus 0.8944 Always remember that it should be the higher probability first minus the lower probability. Therefore, there are 10.43% of the students who got a score between 82 and 96. And that's it for more question or clarification. Please do not hesitate to contact your teachers. Thank you students and happy studying!